the first thing a servant will be account on on the day of qiyamah is his or her prayer the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentions this in one hadith inna awwala ma yuhasabu bihi al-abdu yawm al-qiyamah as-salah the first thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will account a servant on is his or her prayer. So if the salah is good, they will then start looking into your charity. They will then start looking into the hajj. They will then start looking into other, you know, good actions. But if the salah is bad, subhanallah, they will not bother in looking into, you know, other good actions. So this is telling you how important salah is in Islam. And of course, salah is the second, you know, pillar in Islam after the shahada ten. And on the day of Qiyamah, uh, the people of Jahannam or the people of Saqar, Saqar is a place in Jahannam. After they've entered in this place, the people of Jannah will then question them by saying, Ma salaka kum fi Saqar? You know, what brought you people in Saqar? What was the reason? What have you done against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which leads you into this place? They will then say to them, you know, um, قَالُوا لَمْ نَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُصَلِّينَ You know, we were not among the people who performed salah. لَمْ نَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُصَلِّينَ This is the first answer they will give, you know, to the people of Jannah, that they were not people who used to perform salah. So salah is very important. Once you stop praying as a Muslim, you are in a danger. You need to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Disobeying Allah shouldn't make you to perform, I mean, to stop performing salah. You should still continue praying. In fact, even if you are disobeying Allah, you are committing, you know, evil actions, that shouldn't stop you from praying. Allah is saying, Inna salata tanha anil fahsha iwal munkar. You know, salah will stop you from practicing evil actions. Just continue praying. But if you are not praying at the same time, disobeying Allah, this will make the case worse. So start praying no matter how worse your situation is. Allah will forgive you. Indeed, he is Ar-Rahman, Al-Ghaffar, Ar-Rahim. So start praying today if you are not praying. Jazakumullah khairah.